Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're brand new. So today we are going to do a tier list on all of Avenged Sevenfold's albums, because they're one of my favorite bands of all time, and their new album, Life is But a Dream, just came out, and I certainly have opinions on it, <laughs> as I'm sure most of you already do, <laughs> um, since it's been close to a week that the album has come out. So, um, yeah, let's just go through all the mainline studio albums, and um, let's rank these. Let's go. Sound of the Seven Trumpet, the debut album. In my opinion, this is my least favorite Avenged Sevenfold album, and I think it's their worst overall. But with that said, it's still not too bad. I think there's definitely some good moments on it, like To End the Rapture, I think, is an awesome intro. Um, Warmness on the Soul is probably the greatest song on the album. It's the most streamed, at least, so I don't know if that's not an indicator of quality to you. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is to you, maybe it's not. I don't know. It is partially to me. But I also like songs like Darkness Surrounding, The Art of Subconscious Illusion, An Epic of Time Wasted, um, Breaking Their Hold is pretty cool, but even though it's only a minute long. And yeah, just overall a, a decent debut, but not one I come back to very often. I'm putting it in the C tier. I don't think there's anything D tier worthy, just in case if you're wondering. Um, I just kind of forgot to remove it before I started recording. But anyways, Waking the Fallen. Now this is a real slapper of an album. This is when Avenged Sevenfold started getting really good. Um, intro, not the greatest, but um, Unholy Confessions, obviously one of the greatest Avenged Sevenfold songs ever written, if not the best. Um, I also really like Chapter 4, Eternal Rest, Second Heartbeat. Raining Eclipse, I, which I didn't realize was in a different tuning other than Drop D or Drop C Sharp as they typically use, but still cool. Um, personally, I think the album kind of ends weak, though. After I won't both after both parts of I Won't See You Tonight, it kind of just ends. It kind of just meanders on, and I don't know. I feel like I Won't See You Tonight Part 1 and Part 2 would have been the, the perfect outro to the album. Have it 10 songs, leave out Clairvoyant Disease, and all things will end, but... You know, it, it's fine. I don't, I don't really hold that against the album, but I also do think that the album is kind of front-loaded a little bit. I think they kind of put all the best songs first. But um, so yeah, I think with this, I think it deserves a B tier. It, it is more of an A tier or an S tier, but this is kind of relative relative to other Van Sevenfold albums, and I think there are just ones that are way better. Like the next album, City of Evil. Um, this is one of my favorites, um, as is most people's. Um, obviously, Burn It Down, the song you're hearing right now. And Beast and the Harlot is also great. Blinded in Chains, Bat Country, Sidewinder, Seize the Day, Trash and Scattered, Strength of the World, Wicked End. This album is just filled with bangers all around. Very... I don't want to say it's experimental, but it is a little bit of experimental with parts that don't repeat super duper often. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good flowing album. Um, definitely a must listen for anybody into 2000s metalcore like me. Um, S tier, easily. Now, now we got a double whammy of S tier picks. The self titled album is next. And it is my personal favorite Avenged Sevenfold album. I don't know if a lot of people feel the same, but. I don't know. It's also one of their more straightforward releases, which isn't really a knock against it or a point for it. It's just, I don't know. I just like the way that this album hits my ears. And there's also, of course, some nostalgia, because this album was the first um, CD I ever bought. And so, you know, it has some sentimental value to me, as well as just the first four songs on the album. Critical Claim, Almost Easy, Scream, and Afterlife are some of, um, some of their best songs ever. Especially Afterlife and Critical Claim. Those songs are so good. And there's also some really odd picks, but I still think are really underrated. Like Unbound the Wild Ride, Lost. I especially like the autotune bit on Lost. It gives the out it gives that song a pretty unique quality that not many other Avenged Sevenfold songs have. And of course songs like A Little Piece of Heaven and Brompton Cocktail are also interesting. Gunslinger is cool too. Yeah, just this album is just all around just stacked with bangers. And also, most of Diamonds in the Rough is from this era of the band anyway, so... You know, and there's some awesome songs in, from that album, too, so... It's not here, because it is it is a compilation, so... There is that, but... I definitely recommend checking out Diamonds in the Rough and the self-titled Avenged Sevenfold album. They're both amazing, in my opinion. Now, up next is Nightmare. 
an album that really grew on me um, the past few times I listened to it. Because I listened to it once whenever I bought my vinyl copy of it, because I do, I do collect records every now and then. Um, so I listened to the whole thing, and I thought it was good, but then as I was re-listening to the album in preparation for Life is But a Dream to come out, I was like, man, this album is has so many good songs on it. Like, I always thought the first half was really solid, like, up to so far, from Nightmare up to so far away. All those songs are really good. But then, I don't know, the second half kind of grew on me a lot more, especially songs like Victim and Save Me. Those songs are really great. Um, my least favorite song is probably Tonight the World Dies, but it's still not too bad. Um, and God Hates This is awesome. I love that song. One of my favorites. It's also one of their more thrashy picks uh, from, from this album. Same with Natural Born Killer. And, yeah. So, I would say Nightmare is A tier. It's really good. Now, up next we have Hail to the King. Which, I think is a little bit on the weaker side as a full album, but there are songs on this album that I really love. Obviously, songs like Shepherd of Fire and Hail to the King were my introduction to the band you know these are some of the first songs i had heard from them so obviously they're going to have a special connection with me as well as songs like this means war coming home heretic and the rest of the songs are okay i like doing time it kind of has a like punk rock means guns and roses kind of feel to it that i really like um requiem is pretty neat um but some of the other songs like Crimson Day, I Can Live Without Planets, and Acid Rain, I think are kind of a weak finish. Um, there's a song on Diamonds in the Rough called Set Me Free that I think would have been a much better album closer than Acid Rain is. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, yeah, songs I really like on this album, but as an entire product, as an entire body of work, it's just alright. I'm going to put it in B tier. Now, I have the stage. Now, I think the stage was a real turning point in the band's career, because this was when they started to go full-blown progressive metal, which, I mean, this album is like Avenged Sevenfold meets Dream Theater, so it sounds amazing to my ears. Um, obviously, I think the first four tracks are almost about as perfect as you can get the stage, Paradigm, Sunny Disposition, and Goddamn. But there's also some really underrated songs on this album, like Simulation, Higher, Fermi Paradox, Creating God. Creating God was actually the first song I had heard from this album, because in 2016, I wasn't really on social media, I was a little bit young, on the younger side. So, I didn't even know they had a new album out until I heard Creating God on Pandora, and I was like, hmm. And then I heard more and more songs, and yeah, I love this album. Again, an album I own on CD, and uh, yeah. I've really come around to exist too. I think that song is amazing, even though it is really long. So, I think. Um, do I put it at A or S tier? We'll put it at A tier to make the, the the ranking more fluid, I guess, instead of more front loaded at the top. And so, let's see the the newest album, "Life Is But a Dream." A lot of people really like it. A lot of people really hate it. I'm kind of in the middle on it, honestly. I think it is a, overall a very good album. Um, songs like Nobody, We Love You, kind of weird choices for singles. Um, we Love You kind of gave me the notion that this album was going to be a lot weirder than it actually is. Like, to me, this sounds like the natural progression from the stage. Like, there's like it still sounds like an Avenged Sevenfold album for the most part. Keyword for the most part. But, you know, there's also a lot of weirdness, like the fact that there's a trilogy of songs that spells out God. And the second part is basically a Daft Punk song with M. Shadow singing with weird effects on his voice. And a song like Easier, where it starts out heavy, and Matt is actually using a vocoder on the album. But then it goes into like a Red Hot Chili Peppers type song, <laughs> like what? But, um... Yeah, this album is very cool. Life is but a dream. The title track is very nice. It's a very nice piano piece. Played by Sinister Gates. The guitarist. One of the guitarists in Avenged. If you don't know. Um, yeah. I think this album is pretty good. For the most part. I definitely need to listen to it a lot more though. But as far as right now. A, bit, a little bit after a week. I think I'm comfortable with putting this in B tier. A little bit better than Hail to the King, but not as good as any of these ones right here. 
and definitely not as meh as sounding the seventh trumpet to me at least i like progressive metal i like it when bands get weird and experiment and take risks so yep so just to catch up a little bit in s tier we have avenge sevenfold the self-titled album and city of evil in a tier we have the stage and nightmare b we have waking the fallen life is but a dream the new album and hail to the king and in c tier we have sounding the seventh trumpet so this is my ranking from best to worst, or worst to best, however you're reading it. Um, thank you so much to everybody who has been watching. Um, stay, Please stay tuned, because I've got some interesting stuff for y'all in the next few months. So um, yeah, stay tuned for all that. Have a good day, and uh, see ya!